They love it up here. And their house is right on the lake, right? Yeah. Lisa and Rick have been away from Northwest Arkansas for a long time, and now they're really wanting to get back to be closer to family because they have really young grandkids that they right. want there all the time. Here it is. It's got potential for sure. All right, let's do it. to see y'all. This is beautiful. Oh, yes. Thank you. Look at this view. That's amazing. It yeah, is. Yes, yes, yes. My name is Rick. This is my wife, Lisa Funderburg, and we have recently purchased our retirement home. It's a very unique mid-century style. We love all the nature around it, but we chose it because it is a lake house. This house, we would just like it updated and make it a safe environment. So we can spoil our grandkids. <laughs> It is all about our great so kids. Easy, we got this house is us getting to give them a fun place to come. We're just looking forward to having many, many, many years here to make a lot of memories together. So tell me what you guys are planning to spend on this renovation. $120,000. That's a pretty good amount to work with. So out here, what do you think about the exterior of the house? Mainly paint. We're really wanting a modern color. OK. But I do like the stone. We love the natural surroundings. It's almost like being in a tree house. Yeah. I do love the stone. I just think once the colors yes. change, that will help a ton. I think an earth tone, maybe a gray, would give you the modern look you want. It would coordinate with the stone, and then it will blend in nicely with the surroundings. Love it. Really, it's pretty simple. Out here, we'll paint, we'll update all of the flower beds. We really want your house to just feel like it's part of the trees. Yeah. Let's go in. All right. Oh, wow, look at these giant windows. This we is love super it. cool. All right, well, let's start over here in the kitchen. So what's your dream kitchen? I would like a lot more storage. Yeah, it's a waste of space. And we would really like an island. I mean, I'm thinking what we should put the island facing out. You can look out at the lake. I would love that. What about colors? I want everything to be light and airy, a lot of white. OK. In flooring? Wood okay, throughout you the home. Want. Perfect. So the plan in here is obviously we have new flooring, new cabinets, countertops, appliances. We'll reorient things so that you have an island. We want to give you as much storage as we can and just make this a light and airy kitchen focused on the lake and the view. Sounds beautiful. Sounds beautiful. Okay. And then we have the living room. What do you guys think about this fireplace? We love the rock. Okay. It's dark, so this yes. doesn't feel light and airy to me. It's okay. such an important vocal piece for the whole it room. It is, yeah. well, other than the light. It's beautiful, and it ties in with the outside. Yes. We just need to lighten it up. We can yes. do that. Yeah. And I would like a mantle. OK, perfect. What about the windows on either side of the fireplace? We're wanting bookcases there, but I do a lot of art. I could use them. Do you do art? What kind yeah. of art? I'm an old painter. Art is a big part of our family. Both of my children are artists. Wow, yeah. that's amazing. OK, save these. So in here, again, we have the new flooring. We'll create two built-in bookshelves. We will lighten up the fireplace, have a mantle, and we'll keep the paint light throughout the house. Yes. We need a nice neutral palette yes. for your artwork. Yes. All right, so what's next? Head into the main bedroom. Oh, and I wanted to ask you all about this railing because it's not up to cold. Yeah, it seems a little wide for grandkids. I mean, I could well, probably fit my head through this. Anyway. You do I mean, it. that's not safe. A kid could fit head through that. That's head. dangerous. We will update this, absolutely. Great. So in here is our main bedroom. Wow. I love the door that gets you to the deck. You are in a treehouse. So pretty, but so dangerous. Look how short this is. We would like to address the handrails. Dave, don't stand so close. You could flip over. I know. <laughs> it, it, it is like so it short. It makes you nervous. Oh my gosh. So out here, we've got to update this handrail. Maybe we do glass, something that's unobstructive for the view, but safe for the grandkids. I like sounds that. beautiful too. OK. All right, so let's go talk about this bedroom. Really, this space in here is great. I yeah. mean, you just new flooring, lighting. Paint, that's all it needs. So bathroom down this way? Mm -hmm. OK. So closet and then bathroom. Oh, my. A very small bathroom. We would like a main bath that is to die for with a soaking tub. And a I nice glass shower. So we will figure out a way, not sure how just yet, to give you a really beautiful bathroom. OK. There's a guest bedroom next to okay. us that we want to design for the grandchildren. All three grandkids in one room? Yeah. 
This is a great room. I mean, you really do feel like you're in a treehouse. Thank you so Appreciate much, Dave. Yep. I really, really love that they want to make this a place to make memories with their grandkids. It's going to be really special. All right, this is the Funderburg's house. The theme of the house is fun. OK, we're going to just completely gut this. All the flooring goes. If we can save the cabinets, let's do it. All right, babe, set it free. All right, yeah, Give it a yeah. kick. Give me that cheerleader. So this all can go. Don't you think? We just get rid of this whole wall. We move the laundry room and just kind of combine that space for the main bathroom. We can incorporate all the things that Lisa and Rick want, the soaking tub, the large walk-in shower. I like the idea. So like your shower could be here. Jenny, this not, wall comes down, what? It's not going to work. We've got a big right. problem. An electrical panel. OK, where could we reroute it to? Somewhere else in the house? It's redoing all the electrical. It's a big deal. For the whole house? Yeah, because everything comes to here. Um, got to figure that out, because this is now the bathroom. Like, this this has to be part of the bathroom. This is the shower. Mm-hmm. OK. Woo! We are opened up. This nice. is awesome. So here's the plan. Let me run through it, and you tell me if I'm wrong. So we have Playhouse that comes out four feet that goes up to the ceiling, all the way over, sits up on top of the closet. And you have posts in the center. I think the posts should look like trees. That's a cool idea. And then the playhouse, two beds up there. We do another bed or two along here, something along the bottom. Yeah, I like that. We do like a cool ladder up to it. You want some windows in it? Yeah. I want it to just look like a really cute lakeside cottage for the kids. We got a lot to do, but we're moving in the right direction. Wow, perfect! One of the big question marks out there right now is still this electrical panel in the main bathroom. We've got to figure out what we're going to do with that, and then smooth sailing. Yeah. In the main bathroom and laundry room, we're just finishing up all the demo so we can really start to construct back. Hey, what's up, man? How are you doing? I hope you're going to tell me I'm doing a lot better than I'm feeling. Let me show you. We have a budget of $120,000. If we have to rewire and move the entire electrical, 10 grand of that will be gone in a snap. And we just don't have that budget. We don't. So we're trying to reorganize everything. I don't know how we move this without rewiring the entire house. The best thing to do is junction box right here so that we can refeed those circuits. So I could still put a shower valve yes. and stuff out oh, yes. here. We can make that work. We can move the main panel down in the crawl space, get it out of the way. But all those circuits that came through the attic, we have to have a junction box where we do all the splicing, and then we extend those new circuits down to that new panel. This is the best option where we can not have to rewire the entire house. It's not a budget buster, and it's going to work out OK. We really need to get this job done because summer's right around the corner. The Funderburgs want to be out on this lake, so we have the pressure on. The electricians are removing the old panel and adding junction boxes needed to rewire everything down into the crawl space. So we can start framing and drywalling that much larger, brand new main bathroom. To take the hallway and bring it into this whole main suite, I know. created this. Look at the shower, it's humongous. All right, so we're gonna have this big, beautiful glass door. So the shower tile is gonna be prominent. So I got this really pretty sage green tile. I love this tile because it's handmade. It definitely looks like that. It gives it this very organic and natural feel. They like soft colors, so I want something neutral. I love that each of these is unique. It's basically like a wall of custom art in their shower. Since this house is on the lake, we're installing an engineered hardwood throughout because it's less prone to moisture damage. We want it to be a space that they can all just enjoy. They don't have to worry. Their grandkids can come and visit. The floors are super durable. In the main bathroom, the handmade sage green tiles are going up on the walls of the massive shower. And in the kitchen, the marble looking quartz countertops, along with a white tile backsplash, are getting us closer to the light and airy kitchen that Lisa really wanted. The Funderburg's house. Inside, I want it to be very light, very bright, very much about like feeling that calm, serene feel of the lake. So to break up the white in the kitchen, 
we're painting the cabinets a very light but warm gray. And in the living room, I picked a light green for the built-ins. It'll give a pop of color to the space and create an accent wall to highlight the Funderburg's artwork. Front of this house, they have a big carport that actually isn't completely usable. One side can fit a car, the other side cannot. So Dave and Matt are installing a slat wall. It's gonna give them distinct parking space and entry space, which I really feel like this house needed. Done, done, and done. Good job, guys. That was quick. That looks awesome. Yeah, I like it. I am so excited about the Thunderbird Grandkids Treehouse Bunker. We're gonna do a steel frame because we're covering a really long span. Steel will carry the load that we need to carry. We're gonna face it in plywood. Well, it's gonna be so super cute. It's gonna have this very like playful element to it. A cedar shake, little kid's cottage. Almost like we created another room within the room. They could walk under, you could put more beds down here. I mean, they may end up with six grandkids. Yeah. This will accommodate that. Perfect, I love it. It's gonna be so cute. We're about a week away to having this house ready for Rick and Lisa. So we're painting the exterior of this house a light greenish gray that will really help blend it in with the surroundings. The main bathroom is getting a giant soaking tub along with modern lights and gold cabinet hardware. On the back deck, we're installing a glass handrail that will not only enhance the view of the lake, but it'll also be safe for the grandkids. How cool is this? How were you able to hollow it out? About 10 hours worth of cutting. Oh, it's so cute! I love it! And it's a tree from our farm. Good job, Dave. That's flipping adorable. They're gonna love it. You guys did a great job. Good. Wow. It looks wonderful. Love the color. Me yeah. too. Just goes with everything. Yeah. I love the accent. I know. Yes. I love that. I was thinking I wanted that in yes. my head. Yes. But you, I'd never told you that. No, you didn't. So good. It needed it. <sighs> wow. Gorgeous. Oh, look at the wow. railing. Now it's safe for the grandkids. We wanted something that was modern, but strong. Oh, uh, look. Oh, wow. my goodness. How sweet. Again, all about the lake views yeah. and just wanted it to feel serene, like you're on vacation every day because you will feel that way here. Yeah. Wow. Oh, I love it. Oh my Look goodness. Look at the beautiful shower. This is gorgeous. So back here we had dangerous rails. Oh too. my God. Very, and too low. I just felt like I was always gonna fall off. So now they're higher, safe, and still really beautiful. Now you have nothing blocking your view. I love the glass. Oh no! I love, <laughs> love, love, love this! Oh, this is a wonderful. Oh my goodness. This is the coolest. <laughs> we were really, really moved by both of you. You oh told us that the reason you bought this house was you wanted to make memories for your grandkids. We love that that's your heart and that your grandkids have grandparents who who love them that much and who want to have fun with them and make that fun makes me want to memories. Cry because it's so true. We just said, we're all in. We need to make this Aww. the coolest space for them to really be creative and use their imagination and maybe get some sleep after a long day on the lake, <laughs> after all the fun. You outdid yourself. They are gonna fabulous. love this. In 10 years, I'm gonna have you back. Yes. And we're gonna do an upgrade for a teenager room. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Enjoy every minute Thanks. of it. Thanks, Dave. Thanks, Thanks for all your work. Yeah.